Thank you very much, uh, Maurice. I'm here with a legend of our game, a man that needs absolutely no introduction. The third in world champion, Gary Kasparov, an innovator, an entrepreneur, and uh, the mastermind behind the Grand Chess Tour. Uh, Gary, welcome uh, to the show. It was a pleasure. Uh, how are you feeling about the game so far? How do you feel to see uh, the Grand Chess Tour finally take center stage in the world of chess after a year and a half hiatus? Yeah, I had a very strange, you know, impression when I was at stage today. I made the first move in the uh, Rajab of Karwana game that, I mean, some of the players, they are not very comfortable, you know, moving from, from the comfort of the studies to the stage. Though, uh, I think four players here, they played already the candidates. Uh, in, in Russia, but still there's some kind of, you know, just, I think, discomfort. So this is, this is the, because now they have that stage, you know, it's, it's very different. They have to see their opponent, because it's the, when you play online, so you just, you can, you can be very emotional, but you know that your opponent is not, is not uh, 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 looking at you. So here is different, and I, and I think that is, it's, uh, it's a very quiet start. So it's uh, with uh, three quick draws. Somehow, as a result, that you know they, they have to get adjusted, which is, sounds odd. You know, this is the the professional players; uh, they have to be adjusted, you know, to play uh, the games over the board. But those are the, those are the realities, and, uh, and I think it will pick up. It will pick up now, and at least we have a couple of games that are interesting. Definitely, this one still some so very interesting fights. Yes, this is yeah. Um, um, and I, again, I uh, I think it's it's very important that we you know we're back on stage because. Uh, uh, with all due respect to, to um, the fighting spirit of, of uh, strongest players uh, who had to compete over the last uh, uh, 15 months or so uh, online, it's still different. It's still different and um, I think nothing can be compared to, the, to this atmosphere of suspense and, uh, and you know, emotional atmosphere that you can, you can feel while you are in the playing hall or even you are watching you know, online but players are life so Same that's again it's a real game so you have two players you know facing each other we have now this is the it's the, uh, the Romanian player they are facing uh, Giri and uh, which is quite interesting because it's I don't think that um, if not for for tournament in Bucharest plus COVID uh, that the Romanian players would have a chance to face the the uh, world top players because you know we we, we know that's the the Grand Chess Tour is back but unfortunately not all the players are back and uh, we just had to deal with this uh, harsh reality of COVID. But it, you know, it's like, it's, they're always winners and losers. The, uh, some of the players could make it, you know, like, like Ding or Vish Anand, uh, uh, eventually report got sick. Uh, but you know, the, it's a big, big win for Romanian chess. And uh, you know, who knows? Maybe, oh, wow, just as, as, we, as, as, as uh, I spoke these words, <laughs> Giri made uh, just a very poor move. And, uh, it might be, you know, a sensational start. So it's the again, as I said, you know, somebody's winning, somebody's losing, and it seems that Giri is uh, is not uh, was not up to up to the challenge. You're probably expecting his uh, Romanian counterpart to uh, collapse on his own, but nobody collapsed on his own. Speaking of opportunities, uh, yesterday during the opening ceremony, uh, you mentioned that there's still that itch whenever you see these players compete against each other. Uh, will we ever have an opportunity to see you back? Um, um, uh, look, I, I, I look again. I, I, I'm an amateur, so now as you know, I just. Uh, but I still remember how to move the pieces. So and I, I will definitely play the 960 in St. Louis. That's a, that's a tr tradition. Though again, I, I don't expect much, you know, from my, my performance. And uh, and I'm also uh, um, uh, planning to to as a Croatian national to to play part of the part of the event uh, in in Zagreb. So on the blitz section. So that's just, it's we. That's the plan is that we'll share with, uh, with, uh, with Ivan Sharic, uh, who will play the rapid, and I will just, you know, uh, play, play, play the blitz, blitz, yeah. blitz segment, you know, just uh, uh, feeling, feeling the, 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 um, the spot for Croatian, uh, uh, for Croatian local player. That's so I guess, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, uh, again, it's fun. So I, I hope I will, I will be able just to, to, to play a couple of good games, though, again, I just don't have high expectations. But, you know, it's, uh, it's as I said yesterday, it's, uh, you know, when I see the players, uh, you know, moving the pieces and just, you know, when I sense this emotion, you know, uh, behind each move. So, yeah, it's, um, it's something that the passion that doesn't, doesn't go away. And, uh, and I'm always very happy just to, to, to be part of this, of the, um, of the commentaries, because it's, it's a chance to, to share my experience and, uh, and my, um, mm, 
my views about both about the games, but also about the Granger's Tour event and about chess in general and about online chess with, with a very, broad, very wide audience. A lot of things uh, have changed in the past year and a half, and some things have changed for you as well. You've become a, an entrepreneur, a CEO of a new company. Well, Tell no, us no, a little no, bit no, about I'm, I'm not a, no, no, that's, no. I, I'm, I'm, the, the, My name on, on the title doesn't mean that I'm running the company. So that's, let's, let's, let's separate two things. Here. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. and as the, I, you know, I, I, I've been working with, with Vivendi and also with, uh, with the Grunches Tour so, uh, to, uh, to launch this new site, kasparovchess.com. Uh, so it's, the, it's, it's a venture uh, between the, the French, uh, French companies led by Vivendi and, 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 uh, um, and Grunches Tour. Um, and uh, I um, thought it would be a unique opportunity to uh, bring something new. So it's, we know that the world of chess now has several very powerful platforms. So uh, just name two, uh, uh, chess.com and uh, chess24 now, known as Magnus Chess. But I still think, you know, there's, there's a room. There's a room, and uh, what this thing is missing is, is the combination of education and entertainment. Yes, we know that chess.com has, you know, it's, it's, it's an excellent, you know, playing zone. We know that uh, Chess24 has, you know, very powerful broadcast system, and of course Magnus is the biggest attraction. But, you know, it's a lot of people, you know, they would like to learn and also to be entertained. That's what we learned from the Queen's Gambit, the mm -hmm. success of the Queen's Gambit. And I think that's where as part of chess could easily compete, maybe even surpass the, our, our competitors, because we, we have, you know, a very broad range of lessons. And also, this is not just simple lessons, you know, but it's more, you know, just in, in, in a fashion that makes people comfortable. And, uh, and I'm planning to, to add to, to the hundreds and hundreds of lessons that have been already recorded um, at, by doing a new masterclass. So from here, I'm going to, 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 to France, and I'll spend a few days in the, in the studio recording a, a brand new masterclass. So the one that I did uh, uh, um, in 2017, uh, actually in St. Louis, with a masterclass with this company, so it was very successful. But um, it, was, it was still missing, you know, um, uh, the, um, the clear targeting. Because it's the, 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 w those, the, those who directed the program, they had no idea so how to actually make uh, lessons um, uh, adjustable to different, different segments of the chess audience. And this time, you know, we, we will be learning from, from uh, that master class and we'll be adding uh, the, uh, the grades. So, uh, by the way, this is, we already have this inside, inside Kaspar of uh, chess.com. So the eight different categories from the beginners to master. So basically from uh, uh, 1000 to 2200. So that's, uh, that's when you just look for the lessons, when you just uh, look for, uh, for the puzzles. Uh, but uh, my, my, my master class will be divided in three, three major categories, you know, the, the beginners, the advanced players, and semi-professional players. And, uh, and I think it's, uh, it will be, again, it's a new step in, in combining the entertaining and, 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 and education and learning. And also I think we, we can do more by creating community. Community factor is very important. And while, again, this is every platform has a community, I still think it more can be done. And again, here which we'll, we'll try to, to uh, outpace our opponents. Well, thank you for sharing the vision. And actually, you were mentioning community. One of the, the most brilliant things that uh, I enjoyed about the platform were the podcast style uh, conversations you had. Tell us a little bit about that and how oh, you uh, uh, enjoy uh, that. I will be doing more. You know, it's, it's, uh, um, it's, it, it's, again, it's very important to tell stories because what, again, going back to the quiz gambit, so it's the, people want to hear stories. So it's not just, you know, just chess moves or chess lesson. It's important who is telling you the story. So, and uh, it's something about emotional response. And again, here, I think we can, we can add value. So it's, it, and the, the reason the podcast was very successful is because it's, it's a true story. It's just, you know, it's, uh, it's not a story that is brushed. It's not a story that, you know, it's, 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 not, it's not a Hollywood story. And it's Again, from the source. It's from the source. But also this, it's the, the success of the Queen's Gambit was very much due to the fact that it was not a class, typical Hollywood story. It's just, you know, it, it had the element, the raw element. So it's the, uh, um, it's, it's, it had authenticity. And um, I, you know, I'm quite proud that I could, I could contribute to make, to make it more authentic. Uh, authentic and uh, um, 
I think that uh, it's the uh, what we'll be doing as part of chess, and what I do with with, with podcast is again, it's bringing personality into into the story. It's it's so important. It's it's not nameless person, you know, great expert who is sitting, I don't know, God knows, in in uh, uh, Frankfurt, in Oslo, in San Francisco, in Moscow, in in in, uh, in, in Mumbai, and and telling you move, you know, bishop there, pawn there. No, it's a story. So it's 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 a contact. It's 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 adding this element of interactivity, which is so important today now. And and I uh, I, I could feel that you know uh, there's more can be done, but but here we have our competitive edge. Speaking uh, once again about growing the community, what do you feel about personal players' brand, and how important is that to grow the community and bring new fans into the game? Oh, I think it's very important. You know, this is the, it's it's uh, fan club is you know as, as we know it's it's a part of every every successful commercial activity, uh, and and we have personalities. I think it's very important to 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 uh, to cater it and also, and also to to promote it. And uh, and again, more 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 can be done. So, but it's also you know it's also important that the players recognize it. So it's it's that's. Uh, they are no longer, you know, sort of a, a, a passive follower. So they create product, and it says, and uh, and hopefully they can do they can do more by by making this product more attractive, more personal, more, again, I use the word, entertaining, and um, and I hope that you know this is the the standards we are now establishing as Kasparov Chess will be very helpful because we have this concept concept of ambassadors, mm -hmm. ambassadors of the game of 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 uh, Kasparov Chess that will you know that, that will. Uh, uh, use their um, fame and uh, their ability to to uh, to tell the tell the very wide audience about chess. That's the and, and teach people, but they will do it in a way that is uh, it's uh, could um, could bring them much closer to the audience. Again, it's this is you don't want to to look aloof. You know that you're just you you have a, you know it's it's not about just teaching. Right. It's about you know just entering this the the, the living room and, and and being part of this of this uh, um, uh, exercise. And again, that's still that's somehow you know that's that's uh, uh, was a lesson of the pandemics because that's that's what people are looking for and that's what we're going to provide.